Today, I'm going to show you how you can drive a robotic car using your brainwaves and muscle signals. Yes, it's real. Let's get into it. This project uses two types of biopotential signals. First is EEG, which picks up your brain activity. When you focus, the car starts moving forward. Second is EMG, which reads muscle activity. You can flex your left and right arms to steer the car. All of this is powered by NPG Lite, an open source biopotential signal acquisition device with a built-in three-channel bioamp and onboard wireless connectivity, including Bluetooth low energy support. That means you can wirelessly control the car. You'll need a few components to build this. The NPG Lite device, some snap cables and gel electrodes, a robotic car chassis, Seed Studio Sayo ESP32 C6 board, MX1508 motor driver, a LiPo battery, and a few tools like a soldering iron, a laptop, wires, and a screwdriver. Now you can start building the car. Once you have the parts, assemble the robotic base, mount the motors and connect them to the electronic components as shown in the diagram. Before placing electrodes, make sure to prepare your skin properly. Apply New Prep Skin Preparation Gel to each electrode spot. This gently removes the dead cells and oils that interfere with signal quality. After that, clean the same areas with an alcohol wipe. Now time for the electrode placement. To record EEG, place the A0P electrode on your forehead and the A01 electrode behind your right ear. For EMG, one pair A1P and A1N on your left arm and one pair A2P and A2N on your right arm, and the reference electrode goes behind your left ear. Now, let's set up the brain and muscle control. You have to flash the BLE BCI car remote firmware to your NPG lightboard using the Arduino IDE. Before flashing the firmware, follow these steps to configure the Arduino IDE. First install ESP32 package. If not already installed, go to Tools, then Board and Board Manager. Search for ESP32 by Espressive Systems. Select the 3.2.0 version and click Install. Remember you should not install the Arduino ESP32 boards package from Arduino. The second step is install the required library. Go to Sketch, then include Library and Manage Libraries. Search for Adafruit NeoPixel by Adafruit and click Install. After that, select the correct board. Go to Tools, then Board, and select ESP32. Select ESP32 C6 Dev Module, and the last step is enable CDC on boot. To do so, go to Tools, and set CDC on boot to enabled. After flashing open the serial monitor, make sure there are no AC appliances nearby and do not connect your laptop to a charger. Observe the beta wave percentage while staying focused. Default threshold is 2%. Set a value slightly above your relaxed state as the threshold. After calibration is done, it is now time to reflash it. And after flashing, you can disconnect the USB-C cable. NPG Lite will handle everything wirelessly from here. Now connect the Sayo board to your laptop using the USB-C cable attached to the car and launch the Arduino IDE. First, select the Sayo ESP32C6 board from the board section. Now flash the BLE BCI car firmware to your ESP32C6 development board. Once everything is connected, power on the NPG light. The receiver, Sayo ESP32C6 board on the car, listens for specific commands. Zero for do nothing, one for left turn, two for right turn, and three for forward. Now it's time to test it. Watch this. As I focus, the car goes forward. When flex left, car turns left, and flex right, it turns right. It is super responsive and completely wireless. This kind of interface can be used for neurotechnology research, accessibility tech, or even fun experiments in human-computer interaction. If you want to build your brain-controlled car, check out the GitHub repository. You'll find the firmware, wiring guides, and code samples there. To make this particular project, we have made a step-by-step -step tutorial on Instructables. Links can be found in the description. Also, if you haven't already, check out the Crowd Supply page for NPG Lite and support the mission of making open source neurotech accessible to all. That's all for today's video. We have built many more such projects using Neuro Playground Lite. Get your Neuro Playground Lite kit today only on Crowd Supply. Let us know in the comments what you want to see next. Maybe controlling a drone with brainwaves? Who knows? If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you at the next one. Until then, bye-bye.